One of the coaching changes that right. happened uh, around the Lone Star State recently is Round Rock Cedar Ridge. Of course, the Raiders uh, have been uh, on the rise the past couple of years. Uh, they now have a new head coach, although new is kind of a wrong word. Probably the wrong way to put that. The, yeah. the guys are definitely used to seeing yeah. this guy. Uh, the new head coach of the Round Rock Cedar Ridge Raiders is Sam Robinson, and here to talk about the new job is Coach Sam Robinson. Coach, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. How are things in beautiful Round Rock? Hey, they're going great. You know, we we, we were fortunately being able to move up and stuff. We've been hitting off season hard and, and just going, and so there wasn't much much disruption. We we were able to get right to work and just keep on keep on doing what we were doing. So it's been really smooth. Coach Sean Bell leaves Cedar Ridge to go take an assistance job at his alma mater, Baylor, and uh, obviously that becomes one of the hottest jobs in the state. Uh, for you, as the defensive coordinator, what drew you to wanting to, to stay there and take over the reins at Cedar Ridge? Well, it, it's a great job, like you said. School's only been open since 2010, I think. Started varsity play in 2012, and it's really, really been on the rise. Coach Ford had him, had him going pretty good. He went 10-2 and two his last year, and, and we were all new here this year, but – but had a great season, 11-1. But it's the kids. Love our kids here. Great, great kids. Great parents. They work really, really hard, and we got some talent too. So you know, um, with Coach Bell going to Baylor, you know the staff. You really can't take any staff with them. It was a chance for us to keep the whole, pretty much the whole staff intact, and and consistency in the program. We think is going to be big for us. So it's kind of a no-brainer. You mentioned you know keeping the staff intact. Uh, you know a lot of coaches come in and, and they want to put their stamp on, on the program by by moving people around and bringing in more of their guys. Uh, it seems to me you know you just mentioned wanting to keep that consistency. Uh, why is that so important to keep this staff? Uh, all together and, and, and make sure that uh, everybody kind of knows each other? Well, like I said, we, we have great coaches. And, and, you know, you think in continuity kids, we, we have a group of kids, junior class, and we, we think it's a really good class, are going to be seniors. We'll, we'll, you change everything up, that's going to be their third system in three years. Mm-hmm. And uh, Coach Bell really let me do the defense. So, you know, that's, that, that part of the ball will stay completely intact. We, we have some guys on staff that he's worked with before that are real familiar with Coach Bell's offense. So now our, we just think our kids are going to be way ahead. And we're going into spring ball. We can build on what we did this fall then rather than, you know, start it over again. So just keeping it intact. We're talking with uh, new Round Rock Cedar Ridge head coach, Sam Robinson here on DCTF Live. Get involved in the conversation and hashtag DCTF Live. And Coach, your, your your previous gig, you were the defensive coordinator, but before that, you came from Slayton. There's a little bit of a difference between Slayton and Round Rock Cedar Ridge. Cedar Ridge uh, has an enrollment of 2852, and Slayton is a whopping uh, 336. For you, what's been the biggest difference between that job and then moving on uh, to a, a, a 6A team like Cedar Ridge? Well, there's a lot of differences, you know, but but most of my most of my experience has been in bigger schools. Mm-hmm. I co- and the you know my connection to Coach Bell was we coached together at Round Rock Stony Point mm-hmm. back then. So then, and I've been a defense coordinator in the Metroplex area. So I've been around bigger schools. Went went out to the Lubbock area more for for family reasons, and, and you know that's kind of how I ended up in Slayton. But then there's a big difference, and, and the big difference is. You know, obviously the speed of the game's big. When you just talk about just football, the speed of the game's totally different. Um, but then you also you have more kids specializing, so you have to be, you know, you have to schematically be better and put more in, and you know, stretch their knowledge a little bit. And so, and then just also dealing with other kids, like you said, we have Slayton had 336 in high school. We had about 300 in football, freshman through 12th grade. So there's a difference <laughs> you know one of the things that's always interested me about the area where, where you're coaching down there in the round rock area is it seems like all you all the teams down there and all the coaches tend to know each other you know uh, you look at the district with cedar ridge and, and, and round rock high and stony point and the pflugerville schools and then mcneil and, and mm-hmm. westwood it seems like these all you guys t- tend to know each other and, and are real familiar with with one another. How do you go about game planning for uh, for teams that you know they have the book on you and you definitely have the book on them? You know that that's tough and 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 you know just this year and I think it's a little tougher on on me because of course 
most of most everything we do defensively is what we did at Stony Point. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was there, and so you know, you talk about like Round Rock High. Well, they've been playing Stony Point for 13 <laughs> years. You know, since Coach Cheshire's been there, and, and so they know our defense inside and out. And but you know, it keeps you on your toes. I think it keeps you learning. And because and, you have to have new wrinkles, you have to have new things every year because of the famili- familiarity. And then plus there's a lot of coaches that, that just – I mean, it's a great area to live. And so I think people get here and they want to stay here. So you have a lot of, uh, you know, guys – well, maybe, you know, when Coach Bell came in, we had a couple of guys that left. One went to Round Rock High. One went to Round Rock McNeil. And so you have, you know, just – everybody knows everything about everybody Mm -hmm. type deal and so you you have to kind of constantly be changing a little bit i want to take you back unfortunately to to uh, the end of last season you guys go to overtime against klein collins and come up just short uh 40 to 34 uh obviously that leaves a sour taste in the kid's mouth you know you're 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 undefeated uh heading into that game and and then to, to lose such a close game how have you guys kind of processed that how has the team kind of processed you know going 11 and 0 and having this remarkable year but then having a bit of a sour ending at the end we talk about it every day (laughs) (laughs) and 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 you uh you hear the word klein collins more than probably any other word and and you know it was was a crazy we're 11 and 0 and, and really there was not a game and um during the year that we were really in danger of losing you know round rock high played us pretty close but we're actually two scores up, and they 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 scored at the end to to get it with a one, and so you know I think that hurt us against Klein Collins, you know how how to, how we reacted, and that's definitely the game we didn't play as well. Don't take anything away from those guys; we're really good, best team we played that year. So, but we we talk about it every day. You know, it's just getting to the next level. You know, we're here. So that was Cedar Ridge's second year to get to the second round of the playoffs. You know, so we're talking about it every day. We got to do something extra to get past that second round. We're talking with new Round Rock Cedar Ridge head coach Sam Robinson here on DCTF Live. Get involved in the conversation hashtag DCTF Live. And coach, looking ahead uh, to 2017, I think that uh, I, I think that there's going to be a tendency to kind of expect a down year from you guys. Uh, you guys are losing outstanding players like uh, Garrett Sharp and, and, and C.J. Rittenhouse and uh, a few other guys who who were really helped to build this program up. Uh, to to where it is now, but uh, but we also know that that's a very talent laden area down there. Uh, not asking you to give away exactly what you guys are going to look like, but uh, when you look ahead to 2017, uh, what can we expect from 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 the Raiders? Uh, you know, I think we're still going to be really good and really competitive. We 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 are only going to have four four and four back mm-hmm. on each side of the ball. We lost some great guys, Trevor Price on mm-hmm. defense, going to Nevada, Garrett Sharp's a big big loss. Um, we had C.J. Rittenhouse, you know, running back, great O-line. Our, our O-line was really, really good. And so we lost a lot of good players. But, you know, the good thing is is we had a, we have a pretty good junior class or you're going to be senior class that got a lot of playing experience this year through, through for several reasons, injuries, this and that. So we still feel like we're going to put, put a, a really good team on the field. We are going to – going into spring football, that's one of the things – Last year we felt really good almost every position depth-wise. You know, we had our starters we thought were in great shape, and we had backups that, you know, we didn't think we would lose much going in. we got to find some depth. That's going to be our biggest deal is starting-wise, you know, our 22 starters, we think we're in really, really good shape, but we got to find some depth in spring football. He is – Sam Robinson, he is the new head coach of the Round Rock Cedar Ridge Raiders. Coach, appreciate your time. Congratulations uh, on the new gig, and uh, best of luck in the offseason and down the road. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. There he goes, Sam Robinson, head coach, Round Rock Cedar Ridge. I'm glad we got to hook up with him there at the end uh, after some technical difficulties. But uh, appreciate him. Just blame me. Appreciate him hopping on with us and, and talking about uh, the new gig. You know, like I said, I, I wanted to phrase that carefully because, but look, the headliners for Cedar Ridge are gone. Yeah. Garrett Sharp is gone. C.J. Yeah. Rittenhouse is gone. Uh, Trevor Price is gone. Uh, he mentioned the offensive line. A lot of them are gone. He's four and four back, you know? They're going to need to replace some some key weapons. Yeah. But at the same time, we've also known that that area of the state, Round Rock, has plenty of weapons. Yep. Plenty of playmakers down there. 
And so it'll be interesting to see what they do with a new coach, kind of maybe a new new feel, a lot of new pieces. There's a lot of moving parts there at Cedar Ridge. But if history is any guide, uh, then they will be back in the mix uh, sooner as opposed to later. So-